what do you want then? Do you want a player that's going to sit there on 350 grand a week, yeah? Sitting on the bench. The manager doesn't want to play him. So what do you do? No. So what do you do? Then the manager has to go then. No, but that's what I'm saying. No, but that's what I'm saying. You can't have both. Yeah, what, you, what do you want then? You say you want yeah, that Ozil to stay. Yeah, I do want yeah? him to stay. But then the manager doesn't want him. So what's the point? No, I don't, I don't think we should sell Mesut. I think we should keep him. We need to... And we need to add to players like him, basically. That's what I think. Well, the trouble is, he doesn't fit the manager's plans, so what's the point? Um, for me, I would, uh, to me, I'm not sure, as I said, I'm not 100% sure about the manager at the moment. I'm not, I think the whole club's in a mess at the moment. Um, we gave him that contract in January. Uh, when when, um, when uh, we was in a mess, and uh, to be honest with you, um, what annoys me is when Emery was taken on here at this club. Yeah. Should this, should he have made that plain that he was he had no interest in Mesut Ozil being part of the thing? How can he, he must he must know he must yeah look. He must know how we work. He must have studied the way we worked, what we do, how Mesut Ozil. He knows Mesut Ozil, the player. Yeah. He might. Could he not have said that when he joined that? I don't want Mesut Ozil part of my plans. That's it. I don't think you could have said that. Not at the time he's joined. And this is the, this is the trouble. See, what we've done. We we got this recruitment in January, right? Yeah. Under under Wenger, yeah. Oh, and the trouble, yeah. And the trouble is. <sighs> We, this new manager probably didn't. Uh, this uh, the manager we've got now. Yeah. Probably did, uh, what we should have done if we're going to bring a new recruitment, what we should have done in January, got rid of Wenger in January. Mm. Not, in not, January. not wait until the end of the season. Yeah, so then we would have then the, the, the new manager would come in alongside the recruitment, and then we knew where we would stand. But what we're getting now is that we've got Wenger's players that he doesn't like, he doesn't agree with. The recruitment done. Uh, they, they're uh, st he, him, and the recruitment staff are odds on the players that they want. So, was any discussion taken with uh, the recruitment staff, with him as well, when it, when they uh, appointed him? Because it seems that they are, there are odds on the, what players they want at the club. Do I think Mezos? I think Mezos is a very talented player. Does he fit into Arsenal's system at the moment? No, because he don't fit into uh, Emery's system. Under another manager, he might have fitted in. Do I think he's the only problem at the club? No. There are other players that are completely um, not up to the standard of the football club. That's, he's, not really, he's not the only problem at the football club. Is he a talented player? Yes. But are we getting the best out of him? No. But who, who, who decided to give him that big contract knowing that really the manager wasn't going to be here in the summer and that another manager was going to take over? But the whole thing is a mess. The whole thing is a mess. And it all boils down to one man. He's the owner who oversees it all. And I'm afraid the owner doesn't give a shit about the football club. Is my, that's how I see it. Yeah, but then you're saying that um, get rid of us in January. We should have got rid of us. We, we, we wouldn't have to do that, even if we wanted to. Well, this is the problem because otherwise, then we should have waited till the summer then to get the recruitment staff and the manager so that they knew what that they all agree on the same thing. We, we've got we've got a mess. This club's in a fact is in a mess now well, because no one know. I mean, we we know no one knows what's going on anymore. No well, one. I'm sure people do, but you know, no, we have got no money to spend. Well, I don't. Well, the players, the recruitment want, and what Emery wants are completely different. Have we got no? What money? a joke! What an absolute fucking joke! Well, I wouldn't go that far, but you're saying have we have we got no money to spend, or does the owner not want to spend the money? Is the question? Well, no, no, no. Because the owner doesn't want to spend. That's it. That's the problem. That's what I'm trying to say. The problem is Cronkay. and we're, until this man is while this man is at the club, the mess is going to carry on. But he's not going to leave, though, is he? Well, that's the problem. Yeah, he's oh, not going to leave. So we're, we're going to, we're, we've got years of mediocrity then. Well, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that because I think Unai can. He's done a miracle already. He can. He can do well. The thing is, I'm with Mezu. I think I don't want to sell him, and I think if he doesn't, 
to interview So what, what do you want then? Do you want a player that's going to sit there for, on 350 grand a week, yeah? Sitting on the bench. The manager doesn't want to play him. So what do you do? No. So what do you do? Then the manager has to go then. No, but that's what I'm saying. No, but that's what I'm saying. You can't have both. Yeah, what do you, you want then? You said you want yeah, that Ozil to stay. Yeah, I do want yeah? him to stay. But then the manager doesn't want him. So I what's the point? I want him to stay. And if you let me finish, what I'm going to say is, is that at this moment in time, he's one of our best players. And we can only replace him if we get as good or better. If not, what Unai has to do, I think, is he's got to find a way of fitting him in. Because if he's as talented... He has as... no interest of fitting him in. No, but we don't... He said on, he said on Saturday after well, with the West Ham game, he left mm. him out for tactical reasons. Mm. Well. Which is nonsense, because if you've got tactical reasons, you, you, you don't completely leave him out of the squad, do you? Well. Because he can come on and, make, and change the game, can't he? Well. So what's the, why give tactical... Why not just say the truth? I don't fancy the player. That's it. Bang. Out. Fair enough, fair enough. Right. Maybe you should say that, but what I'm saying is that he has no, to but... find a way of put, putting him in. If he's there, while Mesut is there, he has to find a way of putting him in, isn't it? But you're not getting my point. He doesn't want him in the squad. So he he doesn't do fancy him. So what's he going to do then? So he's got to sell, hasn't he's he? He's not going to sell. He'll sell him to who? Sell him to who? That's what I'm saying. But that's when we were stuck then, aren't we? Then when... that means he loses his job at the end of the season. Well, I don't know. He's not stuck. He's going to have to find a way but of you're fitting not, him in. We're going round in circles here. You're not listening, are you? He <laughs> you can't find listen. the paper because he doesn't want to play him. He doesn't even want calm to give him down, a... But he doesn't even down, want to put down. him on the bench. Yeah? Yeah, but what I'm saying is... He'd rather it... have El Nenny on the bench than Ozil. Well, I don't know about and that. And that's tactical reasons, yeah? I don't know, I and don't he calls know that, that tactical reasons. Well, he's going to have to find a way. No, come on. That's the only answer. He's going to have to find a way then. If Mazut does not go, he's going to have to find a way of fitting him in. <laughs> you can start with that. Well, it depends. What you, if you're looking at um, history, uh, fan base, everything else like that, Arsenal's always going to be the bigger club. Yep, absolutely. Right? It's the biggest club. Uh, mm -hmm. are, they the be are they a better team than us at the moment? Even that, they're not exactly pulling up, pulling up trees, are they? So, mm. um, yeah, you could say they're slow at the moment, they're a better team, but they're not a better club. I don't think they're a bigger club than us. No, mm. no way, because if you look at it, uh, revenue-wise and everything else, no, they're not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I couldn't see they're, they're a bigger club. No, no, not a bigger club. No, I agree. We always, always get this question, and I don't think so. I don't think Chelsea. They might be doing better than us at the moment. They might have one more thing. We are, me, but a better club, bigger club. No, never, ever. We'll Oops. never. We'll never. We'll never be ever. Mm. Bigger? No, no way, no way. Because I think we've got more history. Yeah, I mean, league titles, you yeah. go and league titles. Oh, they won the European Cup more times than us, but so is Stade Bucharest. So I don't know. <laughs> well, they won any... the Champions League. Yeah, Invi but. Invincibles as well. The greatest you know ever. I mean? Yeah, I know, but, um, but what I'm trying to say at the end of the day, we are still the big, third biggest club in the country when it comes to. Behind you. Liverpool and Manchester, Manchester United and Liverpool. Mm. And, then we're, and then it's us, you I don't know? know about Manchester United. Liverpool, yes, I don't know about Manchester United. Well, Manchester's not our bigger club than us. I wouldn't say that. Come on, listen. Uh, I would not say that. I wouldn't yeah. say that. I would say of we're up to... Are. New... Yeah, tell me, tell me why. Tell me why they're a bigger club. Well, cool. Revenue, commercial... Revenue. Commercial-wise. Well, well, Glory Hunters. Commercial-wise. Well, Glory Hunters. Well, no, we're asking me a, a okay. who's okay. a bigger club. Well, right? you're saying revenue... Yeah, yeah, biggest revenue. club, yeah, biggest club in every, all, uh, covering everything. Yeah, okay, they but are bigger than us. But then if they're you're massive, man, you're either massive. Yeah, yeah, not more bigger than us. Oh if, no, no, no. But you're, if you're saying if you're saying revenue, right? Are you talking about the fans that don't come from Manchester, or are you talking from the fans that do? Because if you look at us, most well, of you don't London, think we're a global brand as well. No, but most of our supporters are from London, well, aren't they? No, are you saying they're not? Are you saying they're not? That's what I'm saying. So when you're talking about revenue, that's why I say glory hunters. I'm talking about fans outside Manchester. If you talk about Man City, that's different. But if you're talking about revenue... I'm Manchester, telling you globally, Manchester no. United are a bigger club than Arsenal. Well, that's what you think, but I'm sorry, I disagree. And you still have to... You still have to where where do you work it. this out? Come on, where do you work it Where do you work it out that they're bigger? Where do you work out that they're bigger? Well, revenue-wise. Revenue, -wise, revenue still, from still their glory hunters. From their glory hunters. Doesn't matter glory. where they get it from. So it doesn't matter where they get it. I'm just asking you matter. asking me a but question you, and you, I'm giving you the answer. You just answered that we with me and I agree that Chelsea are not a bigger club. But yet Manchester United are a bigger club, even though their revenue comes from outside. 
It doesn't, doesn't come from matter where it comes from, does no, it? it? No, it does. It doesn't matter. No, it does. Every football club comes from uh, uh, revenue no. comes from outside. No, but it does matter where they come from because, oh because God, where they come from means well, are they going to games? Do they know about football or do they just know about Manchester oh, and dear, Ronaldo oh dear. and Pogba? Um, yeah, considering uh, and let me say what his career, fantastic career, probably in the top five. <laughs> best goalkeepers ever in the world, in my opinion. Um, fantastic, fantastic um, professional on and off the field. Great with the players in the dressing room, apparently. And uh, going to be missed around the place. But I think he knows that when, when you know you can't beat an average keeper, like you can't get past an average keeper, like Leno, you know it's time to finish your career, don't you? Average. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I think that's it. He knows he's not going to be, he knows he's no longer number one. I think possibly. he doesn't like, he doesn't want to be number two. Yeah, possibly. He has no other option now after leaving with us. So, I think it's the right time. It's 20 years in the game. Fantastic. Uh, recovered from a in horrific injury. Yeah, um, terrible. I don't think we saw the best of him. I think we saw. No, I, I think we saw better than what we've seen in the past few years from our goalkeepers. But I, I don't think we saw what we saw at Chelsea. But he still, still, you know, was he still done a fantastic job for us, and um, and I wish him a great retirement. Yeah, I do as well. Well, you so so possibly having him on the goalkeeping coach as coach yeah, that'd be good. Future. That'd be good. So you, so you call Burnt average him. Well, uh, yeah, I'm just saying that I, he, he, he's lost his place to a, a keeper that's not great. Oh, but and I think that's really hit hard, hit hard, really. But how long has Burnt played though? Burnt has hardly played though. So he's in a bit early to reserve judgment on him. I still feel that Czech is a better goalkeeper. I didn't think of it. I thought maybe because of his kicking, I thought it was a bit. But still, if you look at overall, the whole thing, he's still the better goalkeeper. And he should never, have lost, maybe not have lost his place. Well, that's what you're saying. You admit that. Yeah, you I said that wrong. you won. I was wrong. I was wrong. Oh, was wrong. I was wrong. We all get it wrong now and again. Mm. Even you. That's not the Mind that's, you get it wrong that's, all the time. That's not the only thing you're wrong yeah, about, is it? Though? You know, you what I'm get saying? It wrong more than me. No, well, I'll admit it when I get wrong. But you no, don't. You I don't, don't go around no, in circles no, and try and get out of it. You don't admit it when you. I just admitted now. You admit it now. I was wrong. I was wrong. Because I judged him on his kicking, but then I see all the other things that he can do that Leno can't. Like what? Like, well, like, like give uh, the stupid goals that Leno gives away, like like uh, what was it against um, Southampton? Was it the Southampton when he was uh, you know? Even though he's just come and, the, and hey? he's made some. What about the good saves he's made? No, oh, yeah, but yeah, but I'm, of course he makes good saves. All goalkeepers should make good saves okay. now and again, so but he also early. makes a lot of bad he's, errors. Isn't too and, early to judge him though. Because no, he's no, just he's, come 20, this season. he's 26 years old. Yeah, and, but he's just come this season. And in the Bundesliga, he's made, he's made a lot of errors in the Bundesliga. But then Fair the game, the that's disaster, wasn't it? Oh, we, a, we, like the, we like to do the cheap options and we get that's what we get, don't sometimes. we? Sometimes. But you're saying you know that, I mean? that, but that's the Bundesliga. We're not going to pay out for a world-class keeper, are we? So, well, well, that's what we're going to get. So, but who knows? Gonna, but he could turn into a world-class goalkeeper. Yeah, you're well, judging him on the Bundesliga. And let's say he did make those mistakes. He's come. Theresa May might turn out to be a great prime minister as well, but it ain't going to happen. Yeah, but you're. <sighs> is, that, is, that, is that meant to be a joke? Because it went down like a lead balloon. But anyway. <laughs> it's a oh, tough game to call this because I don't think Chelsea are really playing that great at the moment. Mm, um, they're ahead of us. Eh? They are ahead, ahead of us, us, yes, but they're not playing brilliant. They're, I no. mean, they, they struggled to beat Newcastle the other day. Mm -hmm. uh, which is not not, not the greatest teams. Mm -hmm. um, we're not we're we are down at the moment as well. So I I wouldn't be surprised if it's a draw actually in the end. One, um, two teams not really firing on. They 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 they, like, they um, we can't defend yet. They they're not great up front either. So it's I wouldn't be surprised if it's a nil nil on. Well, yeah. On, no. um, on Saturday. Saturday night, but Saturday two times. Well, the thing is, I, uh, yeah, they're doing better now, I suppose. But I think we have to beat them if we're going to keep up chances of 
end up in the top four, which I, which I think we hopefully will. So I think we can beat them. Yeah, I don't see why not. We're at home, you know, but we've only lost once. I think. Even have we, are we even? Yeah, yeah, lost. Yeah, we lost once to Manchester City. That's the only team that have beaten us, and that was at the start of the season. So we've got a very, very good record at home. It's like a fortress, and you know, we have to hopefully do what we did against Tottenham with another big game like that. But I, I, I think I think we'll be there. A lot will depend, I suppose, on team selections as well. Who does he does he bring? The big question: Does he bring Ozil in, or does he not? Um, mm. Yeah, that's an interesting one. You know I mean, because I thought on Saturday we lacked a lot of bit of creativity in yeah. the middle of the park. Yeah. Um, that will depend on that. I just don't feel I don't feel Chelsea that brilliant either. Uh, so I I wouldn't be surprised if it's nil nil. Oh well. Um, because Two to us. they're a, they're attacking. Okay. They're, um, how can I say? They're not exactly firing up up front, are they? Um, no. But no. I, I I think it'll be a very close game. I don't. Think yeah, it, it could be, be. I don't think Chelsea or Arsenal will, will win. By I, I'm going to go for a real a really dull game. Actually, I just feel that both teams are not not really doing anything at the moment. And the, tra- the thing is as well, I wonder where uh, Spurs now are in trouble as well, aren't they as well? Are they? With uh, losing Kane till March and that could be a big handicap for them. So but why is that? This, uh, this could allow Man United to come into uh, all the equation well, now. They're on a fantastic run at the moment. Possibly not. Yeah, unfortunately they are, but we've got, we, really, we got to play them as well. They should have been, they should have been beaten on against Spurs, but Really? That, the Gaia was absolutely fantastic. Well, that's what, what, he did that's with, what that's, I mean. That's what he did with us yeah. last season, isn't it? Yeah. But hopefully... But no, season, I'm going to I'm going to say it'd be a nil. I've got a feeling it'd be a draw. Nil, nil, nil. So you don't think we're going to win? I don't think be much in it. No, no. You, don't, you can't see no, us I've got no confidence in us at the moment, to be honest well, with you. Well, even at home? Mm. Even when we've lost one game? Well, you can say that, but we're, uh, I'm, I'm just, I don't feel confident. I just don't feel... No, no, I just, after what I saw on Saturday, I don't think, I think the morale of the team is down as well. I don't think the Yeah, but that's away good. from home though. So, away from home. No, yeah. but the morale of the team is yeah, down. Yeah, but it's, it has, to, it has the, to be up. The, the crowd are down because, um, uh, the crowd are down because uh, they, they, they consider nothing is happening towards what transfers. Is, well. And that showed on, on the, the, the away crowd on West Ham was really quiet. It was quite, I mean, but then it was 12.30 kick-off, you, you know. know. I know, I that's, know. That, that maybe had something to do with it. Yeah, yeah. not 1 o'clock, yeah. 12.30, wasn't it? Yeah, it was 12.30. So I think you thought it was 1 o'clock then. Well, yeah. well, what time did you think it was? No, because when I saw you what come, time, come well, in what, on your seat at 1 o'clock... I yeah, but what time did you think it was when you when you said that the team should be on Crime Watch? What time did you think that was then? <laughs> 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 that's another thing you're going to have to apologise for, isn't it? What's that? <laughs> you said that you apologise when you're wrong. So you're going to admit that you was wrong, that you said the team should be... Um, on Crime Watch. No, so Gazidis and yeah. Wenger should so, be on so, Crime Watch. So, so, so I've got nothing to apologise. I hold still on, stay there. You've got nothing to apologise on Crime Watch. Crime Watch. All right, now let's get this straight. So Crime Watch, the show you're talking well, about. To me, they've committed criminal acts here. They've in, stolen what? money out of the football club and they've committed criminal acts. Criminal acts in what? In a football sense or in a real sense? In a football sense or a real sense, because that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You're wrong about that, because if you're talking well, about the money they've taken, them two have taken out so the club, saying, and the money they've spent on it, and the money that the wages that they're given to certain players, they should be done on criminal charges. Yes, yes, I stick. Criminal charges, so criminal, yes. like, like hard and criminal. Yes, because they're both a couple of frauds. So you're, so now, in my you, opinion. So, so no, that's how I feel. That's okay, how I feel. Hold on, so then, oh, right, so no, then, I feel that. Okay, all right. So let me break it. All down these here. players, sixty grand a week, Cole Jenkinson, right? All these players, Mr. All these players on these wages, man. I'm sorry, it's what? disgraceful, yeah. and that's why we're in this fucking mess. Yeah, that's it. I've had enough of it. No, but you're no more. Say, no, I but want to talk about. It. No, because I, you're I stand, no, 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 I stand no, by what I say. Okay, then. So then, you. but then let me let me say this to you then. You cannot say that because you're trivialising real crime. Because you remember Crime Watch with Nick Knowles and I think it's Sue, whatever her name is. I remember the motto of the of the thing. It's not a, it's not a laughing matter. I remember the motto of the chat then. Please sleep well. Do not have nightmares. Well, I've had so plenty you, of nightmares under Wenger. So you've had, so yeah. you, so you've I've been had victim, plenty of nightmares, so, so a, I haven't been sleeping so well. So you've been yeah. a victim of crime then? 
Yeah, yeah, that's why so you're, you're, trying, you're so sleep so you're well. laughing at criminals. Don't have nightmares. So you're laughing at I've victims. been for the last few years. So you're laughing at victims. Wenger. So you're laughing hey? at victims. You're laughing at victims. And the thing is, you're calling them sleep frauds. well. Yeah, so you're calling <laughs> them frauds. Can you yeah, say it's not about just about murder, 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 is it, crime watch? It's not just about no, murder, not. is it? That's what I'm saying. About no, nicking money no, as well. No, but nicking money. You're calling so 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 you now want you to get yourself sued, do you? Because you know you're slandering them. No, I'm saying that. No, 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 you're slandering. Can you say, can you say to I'm them? I'm saying the money that they've can taken you? out of this club is a disgrace. That's okay, it. I'm not no, saying no, no more no, than that. But you that. said they're no, frauds. You said they're frauds. That's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying, I'm saying to you is that. I'm saying what I'm saying. No, no, okay yeah, then. So right. my question to Thank you, you is. No, you. My, my right. question to you is. Right. Can you say them, call them frauds to their faces? Can you? Because you're trivializing crime. You're trivializing crime. No, you are. Because that's not real crime. Real crime is real crime. Yeah, it is crime when I've had, you said sleepless nights. Yeah, I had sleepless nights. Sleepless nights, but you always ask me that anyway because you mind about everything, don't you? You mind about everything. So you always, yes. I'm, I'm surprised you have a good night because you, you can't ever sleep well. If you want no, a lot, you, you still wouldn't sleep oh, because no. you'd be thinking, oh, oh. no, why don't I win more? Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, but, no, but on a serious, serious point, be careful because they can sue you. Just wanted to say um, congratulations to our women. They beating. lost, didn't they? We lost to Chelsea, unfortunately, but we beat. Oh, I've got a bone to pick you about that. Two one, go on. What is it? This interview you had going out slagging the Chelsea man. Yeah, Emma Hayes. That's right. Why? You, God, because she's unprofessional. She's In what? What did she do? Disrespectful. She's always slagging off our club all the time. Yeah. Very unprofessional. Is this very, because very we lost? Oh. No, it isn't. It isn't. Oh. It's got. What you mean, me slagging her off? Yeah. No, she's had it coming a long time. But the thing about it is that with her... But it only think, happens if we lose that you slag them No, off. because I haven't had the chance, have I? Because there's never... Whenever... Um, being, I should have said it a long time. So it's not it's not just to do with Sunday. Yeah. It's the way she carries, so, but carries herself. But in the previous meeting when we beat them five or... Was it five nil, six yeah. nil? I don't... Didn't you, yeah. you slag her off? Then? Yeah. Because there was no need There was no need, There was was no no need. need to talk about her. But she's had it coming. So I thought... I'm the, <laughs> But yeah, I was as I now. said, you only slag her off no, because we've no, lost. Slag, I would slag her off if I... That's what I mean. Remember... I'm saying that now. She's she's irrelevant. She's irrelevant. So what it is is that I have to remember because she's been gone a long time, and I would break it down why I think she's like that. She used to be our coach. She's a very good coach. But when Vic Vic Akers left, she was meant to get the manager manager wrestler job, and she didn't. So she's very very bitter. But what she says about us is dis disgraceful. And yes, I say it again, she acts unprofessional. She's very, very disrespectful to us. She's a former coach. Okay, uh, all I'd say is you should have said it after the win we beat. No, no, no. You shouldn't have said it about crime anyway, watch, should you? Right, right, anyway. You shouldn't have said no, about crime watch. I'm talking about different something. Well, different. then, so don't tell me what I should say. All right. Anyway. But like I said, we beat Birmingham City 2 1. Oh, yeah. Thanks to goals from Daniel DVD. Is that Van der Van der Bonk? Van der Donk. I'll call it Van der Bonk. No, don't, don't insult her name. It's Van der Donk. I always, I thought it was Van der Donk. Sorry, know, I didn't mean, I know, thought it was Van der Bonk. Don't try it, you know exactly what her oh, name I is. I thought you said Van der Bonk. I mean, said Van der Donk. Bonk. You know her name is Van der Donk. Oh, well, I, I can get it wrong now and again. You get names wrong, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Right, well, you exactly. didn't get that wrong, though. You know what her name is, though. You're just trying to be, you're just trying to be careful, put it in, and try to disrespect her, and you shouldn't. Hmm. And Vivian, our country, country teammate, Vivian Miedema scored the winner. So we won 2-1. Well done to our um, under 23s for thrashing Manchester City under 23s 5 1 with goals from two from Bukayo, Bukayo Saka, two from Xavier, Javier Amici, and one oh. from Joe Willett. And good luck to our under 18 youth team tomorrow when we're going to play Tottenham Hotspur. Where are, where are you? Oh, are you awake? I thought you were sleeping. Where are you? Well, so you want to know now then? Where? You want to know now? No, where? No, you can come up with some important information. Ooh. Where is it? It's at Bournemouth. But you have to get, a t it's, all, it's all ticket, and you have to get a ticket in advance. Why? Because they're expecting a lot of Tottenham fans to come, and they don't want any silliness off the pitch. Why don't they play at the Emirates? Well, that's a good question, but apparently when the Tottenham fans came to Emirates, they did a little silly thing. I thought FA Youth Cup play was always played Well, it's supposed Emirates. to be, but I think it's maybe to cut down if any silly business happens afterwards. So what, are they, what crowd are they expecting for this cracking cup tie? Mm -mm. It could be up to... Uh, well, it was 300 against Chelsea, which is maybe the biggest season. So it could be up to that or more. But Tottenham have got their allocation. And we've oh, got ours. They've got an allocation, Spurs. Yeah? They've, they've, got, they've got an allocation, yeah. 
They're going oh, to so be a bit himself. of noise going on. Well, uh, well, yeah. well, I hope not. I hope not. It, it goes without saying. I, sh I shouldn't really have to say this. Well, also, because I, I don't think I, it is, I heard you I at the last game that I saw on AFTV. Yeah. You and a few Tottenham fans were in a bit of a rump rumpus. <laughs> <laughs> what, you mean a verbal rumpus? No, no, it, got, it nearly got out of hand. Like no, you mean the ones when I was yeah. arguing them? Yeah, I No, that was, that was, that was, ver that was, that was, only, that was only verbal. And the they were, police they, had they to were. get involved. Nah, 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 there's none of that. And funny enough, I'm glad you brought up. I, 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 I shouldn't have to say, but I will say the last thing. I hope that both sets of fans behave themselves. I shouldn't really have to say that. I shouldn't, because it's not my place. But it seems when we play Tottenham, things get on the silly side so hopefully the fans will behave themselves and good luck to our under 18s